Good morning and welcome back. Today we have a uh, Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1700 BH. It is still hooked up to the transport driver's truck, so let's just dive right into it. It does have a power tongue jack up front. There is a battery disconnect set in here. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, jump you around to show you over on the back side here. Power stabilizer buttons, nice pass through. There is a huge solar panel on here, and uh, there is inverter prep. So if you guys wanted to add a inverter later on, you definitely can. If you take a look, you can kind of see the solar panel up there. It is astronomically huge. All right, moving on from there. It does look like we have an enclosed underbelly. There is a nice storage down here. A little light in there for uh, good measure. Spare tire, of course, LED lights throughout. It is uh, pre-wired for a camera. You just have to mount it. Walkable roof, rear ladder prep. Um, ladders have been hard to come by this year. Most of our campers that uh, say they have ladders from day one um, have been coming without them because they cannot get them. 3660 from a weight standpoint. All right, let's get you inside. All right, spin you around. Door is setting right here. Uh, master bed is right up front. There is, believe it or not, a little bit of a gap here with uh, 110 and USB back there. Got some hanging storage uh, right there. Nice deep up top storage. Kind of like this little pattern design they do on this front board. I don't know why. It's just. Uh, seeming to do something for me so pretty straightforward there it's not really a thing I'm just gonna push the mattress all the way over and kind of see the gap now there is huge amount of storage underneath the bed again it's not framed out in wood like they usually would it's all aluminum a couple little staples pulled through not a big deal there is a little bit of a gap here so you can walk in See my knee. I'm moving around uh, to the booth dinette area. Sorry, I was hearing noise, and I uh, I see that this thing showed up for whatever reason with the window open. Probably because they didn't lock it. There we go. Close that bad boy up. Booth dinette area. There will be uh, some storage down here. Little finger grab holes. Pretty straightforward. Hidden hinge, cabinet doors, nice solid latch. If I let them kind of get to a certain point, they'll they'll pull themselves closed, so that's kind of nice. Stereo is setting right up over here. Pretty straightforward. And then uh, there are some speakers in here as well. They don't use the wireless Bluetooth ones that some people love, some people don't. Nice big farm sink over here. It is a one piece uh, countertop. I wouldn't say it's solid surface, I say it's some sort of plasticky composite material. So just know that going in. Looks like we got some sink covers, the goodie bag, nice roller drawers. Haven't pulled any of them out today, that's good. Uh, there is no oven, which is uh, good for most people, as uh, most people only use it for bread storage. Nice two burner stove. Zips down for some more storage, and then of course, you've got more in here as well. I am gonna touch on uh, the control panel just sh shortly there, and then of course, the micro. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard. I am gonna point out that this particular rig does have a gas and electric fridge and freezer, so it does not have the 12 volt unit. So with uh, the addition of the solar on the roof, this battery would probably run for darn near ever since you're not powering a fridge just based upon the solar panel that already comes prepped with. So that's kind of a huge deal. Uh, another thing I'm gonna point out, looks like we got a porcelain potty here. Came with some winterization fluid in it. Maybe a little storage down there. Outlet set in there. 
medicine cabinet still have the hidden hinge doors and then uh, the bathtub in here nice shower surround all that good stuff there is a little fan up top in here so pretty pretty clean looking rig other than that one uh, piece by the bed I'm not seeing any issues with it um, it does have a rough top mounted AC versus a wall mount so that is also nice Gives you guys a little bit more cooling capability but at the end of the day these campers are on the size where it doesn't really make a difference but questions comments concerns you know what to do the email is down below thank you much